I guess Bryce, what have the first kind of few weeks been like for you getting to practice? Yeah, definitely been a big change, uh, especially like practice-wise. Uh, I'd say at a it was a little longer practices, but not as fast. And then I think that's been like a really big uh, difference for me is coming here. Practices aren't as long, but man, they're, they're snap, 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 snap. It's going really, really fast, going through plays, going through indie, everything. You're always moving, constantly moving. So I think it's a good thing. Uh, really gets you into shape for sure. How much does over the summer getting some of that team tech, how much does that help you in a atmosphere like this where you're in a competition, you're trying mm -hmm. to hit the ground running? How much does that summer work kind of help you then hit the ground running in camp? Oh, I mean, huge. Uh, I mean, like, I think, I think the biggest thing was getting to actually understand the lingo. Um, I mean, in all reality, all offenses are the same. I mean, you have your zones, you have your gap schemes, you have all this stuff, but the biggest difference is like just the words people use. And so I think those team tags we had over the summer uh, were really, really, really big for me. I'm um, getting to understand the lingo that everyone's using and all, how we call it like, the double teams and all that stuff like that uh, across the front. Um, and it's also good that uh, on, even on our off days, like our, I think Wednesdays were our off days, and sometimes on Saturday mornings, we would all, as an offense, get up, uh, send a text to the group chat, um, and we'd all meet at the facility together in the indoor and run through plays and do stuff like that, just so we're always on the same page. So whenever fall camp came, uh, we just hit the ground running. Talk about the competition with you and Shane. What's it been like getting to know him and you guys out there competing? No, yeah, I mean, I love Shane. He's a great guy. Uh, I mean, he was the D2 Remington Award winner, which is which is really good for him. I was super excited to hear that. And just to compete against him, I think, is something really cool to get to do. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a super great guy. Um, he knows he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. He knows he's, his football IQ is super, super high. And so I think it's a fun competition that me and him get to kind of battle it out. On the whole, how is being at KU kind of compared to your expectations when you picked the school and portal? Yeah, um, that's actually a really good question. Um, I was kind of, whenever I was transferring, um, I kind of wanted a place that was, I guess, not as like city-like was like my, my biggest thing because I don't see myself as a big city guy. Um, and so whenever I was looking for places, I kind of saw when I got here, um, it was like a lot of wooded areas and it was all like nice little neighborhoods that were kind of around the area. And, you know, I was just driving through with our uh, GA, uh, Coach Jackson Satterwhite, and he was talking to me all about, like, the history. And I think my first question when I got here was, like, so are there tornadoes through here? <laughs> because, like, coming from Texas, I don't see that very often. I'm used to hurricanes, not tornadoes. Uh, but he was like, no, nah, they, they, they usually skip over Lawrence, which is pretty cool. Uh, but, no, nah, that, that was kind of, like, my first glance at everything. I really liked it. Uh, it's not a super flashy town, but it's enough – to have some really good places to eat. That's the big thing. <laughs> like like some Mexican food, so. And then, on, what kind of role did track play in your recruitment? Just what are your expectations about getting to play track as well while you're here? Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, my, my initial eyes are on football. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's my dream. I came to college to play football, and I think track is not necessarily a side gig or side job. Like, I love it. I love doing it. But I think my main focus was really doing track. Oh, not track, sorry, football, sorry, misspoke. Um, and I, I, since I've got here, I've loved it. It's been great. Have you, do you talk to Redwine at all yet, especially with him in Paris? No, I haven't talked to him yet. I think on my OV, uh, he like, just left to go to, like, start training and meeting everybody that was on Team USA. So I got to meet uh, Coach Reynolds, which was a throws coach, but that was it. For you, we've heard from Coach Grimes, Coach Leipold, about mm -hmm. the offense being complex, hard mm -hmm. for young freshmen to learn. For you as a transfer, how has it been? just getting the feel for the offense itself. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, it's, all the offenses are pretty much the same. I mean, you have, like, again, your inside zone gap schemes. So it's just figuring out the, the way people use their words to describe what's happening in the mm -hmm. offense that you really get, that struggle the most to get down. And I think a lot of people don't understand that there's a lot of little words. Like I was talking to my dad um, whenever we had a little bit of break when I went to go see my – uh, brand new nephews that my brother just had a few weeks ago. Congrats to them, by the way. Shout out to them. Um, but I was talking to him about some of the plays that we ran, and he was like, dude, that's so many words. But it's like, mm -hmm. Coach Grimes always tells us each part of the play call has a little piece of the puzzle for each person to do. And so the hard part's really on the quarterback to yeah. piece them all kind of together. But for us, it's not too, too, too bad. Learning the lingo at center, who have been some of the guys that have helped you? Yeah, um, I mean, Bryce Cable Dude has definitely helped me a lot. Uh, and Mike Ford, because I know he played some center in, a, in the, during the spring, I believe. And so he's kind of helped me a lot through it. And then just kind of sitting back and listening to Shane, because he was here in spring as well, and listening to him make the calls and stuff like that. So learning from kind of all three of those guys kind of really helped me going. And working with Jalen, what's that just been like overall? I mean, I do got some energy. He has some energy. He's fun to be around. He's a competitor, but, man, he he's very, I guess – has a lot of humility, I guess is a good way to say it. I mean, he's he's just another guy. He like, I mean, enjoy hanging around, hanging out around him and stuff like that. I mean, 
I don't. He's, he's kind of a hard dude to explain. Just he's, he's great all around. He's a great leader. Great, great leader. Doing stuff under center hasn't really been a big thing for either you or Jalen in your mm -hmm. career. So what's the adaptation to that been like? Um, I mean, I mean, we, we practice it every day. I mean, going like under center, whether it's like actually, are you talking like actually under center snaps or just yeah. like yeah. snaps in general? Yeah, under center snaps, just because I, I know that's at least a part of Coach Grimes' scheme. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we do it every day before pre-practice. So usually we get out there about 20 minutes before uh, practice starts and we'll, all the centers will meet up with the quarterbacks and we'll go through just a few snaps and do some under center snaps and we'll exchange um, different quarterbacks, different centers go with different quarterbacks and we just kind of all switch it up uh, just to make sure that whoever, whatever quarterback we are going to be with during team throughout the day, we get used to those hands kind of being under. Bryce, why did you want a fresh start for your college career? Um, I think it, I just kind of wanted a, I, I mean, you said it best, it's a fresh start. Um, I mean, I think that while I was there, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. Um, I love the people at A&M. I think that was really good. The alumni is great. I love, I loved it there. Um, but I kind of felt like I needed a new, like, just kind of a new start. I think is the best way to, to put it. So just kind of rewording your question, really. Um, but I think I, I made a really good decision in coming here. I, I've, I've absolutely loved it here. You've had past experiences where you haven't participated in spring football. Have those helped you at all, like coming in now fairly late in the process? Um, what do you mean by that? You know, just like years where you were doing track, so you weren't allowed to be, mm -hmm. you weren't able to be part of the spring. Now you're coming in after the spring here. Mm -hmm. Have those past experiences helped you at all in getting up to speed here? Yeah, I think a little bit. I mean, I really dig into my playbook. As soon as, like, as, soon as I get the plays, I really try to focus really hard on um, what everyone's doing, not just me, so I kind of know the whole picture of what the O-line's doing. And so, like, if like if I'm at center and I make an ID and I think in reality, I'm like, well, how's the tackle supposed to get there? Like, that has that can't be the right ID, right? And so that's kind of the way I, I kind of process it a little bit. Um, I think that's been definitely the way that's helped me the most. Um, but like I said, getting through those team techs and stuff like that during the summer has been the number one most important thing for me right now. And uh, talking to Coach A and Coach uh, Satterwhite, who actually came to my house a few times, Coach Satterwhite did, uh, to kind of talk over some plays and kind of draw things up with me to make sure I had a, had it, the majority of it, kind of the base knowledge of it down. Bryce, you talk about playing faster. How's that just been like, you know, just looking at the pace that they play? Yeah, that's, that's big. That's a huge difference. I think the first, like, cycle and a half or so of, of fall camp, I was, I was taken aghast by that. I was, I don't think I've ever, like, breathed that hard during a practice. I was... That was a struggle for for real, uh, but I think like now looking back at it, I'm I'm in way better shape than I was, especially just just from that first cycle, um, you know. Because with track, I came in pretty late in the summer. I'd say like mid summer ish is kind of when I came in, and so I didn't get that full like summer workout plan, and so I kind of had to catch back up really really fast. Um, and so I think that's the the speed that we practice at and the tempos and how fast we're running our plays and stuff like that have really helped me get into shape. They talked a lot about cross training. If mm -hmm. if they call on you to play guard rather than center, are you prepared to do so? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. To be honest, I think at the at the end of the day, I want I want to win football games and I want to help my team win the, the with the whoever whoever the front five are, whether I'm in it or I'm not in it, whatever. I want to be there so I can help win the game.